huge Napoca in the heart of Transylvania. At first sight, you'd think this is just your ordinary sleepy provincial town. But take a look behind the austere facades, and you'll see that calm and tranquility have become a thing of the past. Nightlife is great. You can meet many people and party a lot, even more than back in France. The secret of this vitality, medical students. Out of the 7,000 studying at the Cluj-Napoca Medical School, 1,600 come from abroad. Romania is indeed very attractive for medical students. Affordable tuition fees, good facilities, and many opportunities for clinical exposure. It's for these reasons French student Siva Shalini left her university in Strasbourg two and a half years ago. Compared to France, where we had to pass an entrance exam and where professors are quite elitist, here it's like a dream. Professors are really open, they love teaching us, and we enjoy learning even more. Siva Shalini is driven by her enthusiasm, but that's not her only ally in her quest to become a doctor. The conditions are optimal. Direct access to the hospital, concrete work with patients, from theory to practice. Here we take the time to examine, but also to talk to our patients. In France, things go too fast. Of course, lessons are taught in French. 1,000 students are registered in the French-speaking department. The English-speaking section also stands strong with about 600 students. 200 of which come from Sweden. This um, education is very different from, uh, from uh, the medical education in Sweden uh, because we, um, we get to do more patient uh, contact and we get more advanced anatomy <coughs> classes. And this is why Romania is now shining out as an ideal location to study medicine in Europe. I didn't hesitate one second. It was my dream to become a doctor. I jumped on the opportunity to pursue my studies here and not once have I regretted coming to Romania. Indeed, the city of Cluj-Napoca doesn't seem to leave much room for regrets. And now that it's been invaded by hordes of international students, there's now what can be called a vibrant Transylvanian nightlife.